If you're a wedding videographer, this has definitely happened to you where you're filming at the reception and the photographer's flash is going off and it's wreaking havoc with your camera. I'm going to show you how to quickly go from this to this. And it's actually not that hard at all. You just kind of have to know a little bit about frame rates and how to do some quick editing in Premiere. If you would like to learn more about frame rates in your camera and why you should definitely be delivering a final wedding video product in 24 frames per second, and if you're not, you're doing it wrong, I highly recommend Parker Walbeck's full-time filmmaker course, which you can check out in the link in the description. So let's get to it. Also, side note, I love wedding photographers. As a wedding videographer, you need to make sure that you're working with your wedding photographer, be friends with them, hang out, have fun. It'll help you both to get the best in product. But obviously this is gonna happen to your footage from time to time when they're using a flash and you're capturing video of that. So I have a clip that I recorded in 60 frames per second and I'm going to go ahead and make a new sequence with that and we're gonna call it Flashtastic. So quickly you can see here as I play back, there are just a bunch of flashes here kind of like these little lightning strikes in the middle of this great moment that we have with our bride and groom here. And because we filmed in 60 frames per second, it's gonna be super easy to, to fix this. So let's fix that. The first thing you wanna do is go ahead and nest your clip by right-clicking it and then click Nest, and we're gonna call it Flashtastic Fix. Cool. So this is what our end product clip will be. Now we're gonna open up that sequence in the timeline. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can hit your right arrow key to scrub between frames until you see the one frame that has the flash in it. And then you can cut that frame out completely. And then you wanna ripple delete and then move on to the next frame using your right arrow key until you see one right there. Use your razor tool, cut, move to the next frame and cut. In addition to that, you can hit Shift L and it will actually play back your frames in slow motion for you. Um, but that's a little less specific. You don't have quite as granular control over it. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys to make all these changes. I'm gonna fast forward that real quick and do it to the whole clip. We've made six cuts and already it's looking way better. But we're still in 60 frames per second and our finished product is not going to be. So if we go back to our original sequence here, you can right click and click sequence settings. And then you wanna change your time base from 60 frames per second to 24 frames per second or 23.976 if you wanna get technical about it. Now you'll notice that because we nested first, there's a little bit of this clip here that doesn't exist anymore and you can quickly fix that by dragging it this way and then dragging it that way. So now we have a 60 frame per second clip that we are playing back in real time on a 24 frame per second timeline. And again, if you'd like to know more about why that works, check out Full-Time Filmmaker. It'll answer all your questions, all of them. So here we have a completely seamless to the eye, can't even tell that you've done any editing to it, fixed clip that has no photographer flashes. Now, a side note here, one of the main reasons why you film in 60 frames per second is so that you can slow it down. And so if I go to a 40% clip duration and get some of that buttery, smooth, slow motion playback, you'll notice that it is a little bit stuttery because of the edits that we've made. So this doesn't work quite as well if you wanna do slow motion. It's actually better if you're playing back in real time, which in the edit that I'm doing, this moment will be. So there you have it, a quick fix to go from this to this. If you have any more questions about that, feel free to ask me in the comments. Also, for real, all your questions will be answered if you check out Full-Time Filmmaker. It's great. Also, if you like the music in this video, check out Artlist. Also, the link is in the description below. I hope that helps you. It helped me. See you next time.